What's going on YouTube, Gios right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install a fully working terminal on your iOS device running iOS 11.3.1, iOS 11.4, iOS 11.4.1, and even iOS 12. This one doesn't require a jailbreak. So I'm talking about the open term. And yes, I made a video about this product before. And I think I made a video like, what, six months ago about it. But at that point in time, the program was in its infancy and not a lot of features were available. It has received updates a few months ago and now it supports scripting and a lot of other cool stuff so i'm going to show you when you open the program it doesn't have any advertisement you don't get any ads or pop-ups or something like that so it's a pretty clean interface and it actually has quite a lot of features you know given the fact that it doesn't run on a jailbroken device but rather on a stock device with a lot of restrictions so the thing is that this program in here runs sandbox so you will not be able to access your root file system and so on but you do have your own application folder in here where you can create files and download files from various parts or from you know various devices and so on because yes this program in here supports full ssh so if you want to connect to a server or another device for example a jailbroken device you can do so and not only it supports SSH so let me show you SSH in here um, as you can see it does support SSH it gives you the usage command it also has SCP which means you can copy or transfer files from a device to another of course without being jailbroken and the files will be downloaded to this folder in here to your open term folder on the device so this is pretty much useful if you want to access a server remotely or if you want to connect to another device. It does support normal Unix commands. For example, I can create arbitrary files with touch. So touch, and I'm going to say new dot C, and I have created a file. And if I go ahead here on the folders, as you can see, I do have the new dot C file in here. And yes, you can create files, you can do quite a lot of stuff. And now it also supports scripting. And this is the good part about it. This was introduced in an update after I made my previous video about this program. And it wasn't a thing at that point when I made a video, but this is something very cool. You can create scripts and run them in the terminal. You can pretty much program the terminal to do various stuff. So if you go ahead and here on the examples, they do have quite a lot of examples. You can color them, you know, so that you can easily spot them. And you have, for example, clean up files, you have dice, you have tweet. And if you open one of these, you can see that this is actually programming. It's a programming language that you can use in order to pretty much script everything. The documentation on how to code this stuff is available, but the syntax is not that hard. And if you take a look in here, you can do quite a lot of things. The read clipboard one, for example, will pretty much paste whatever you have on the clipboard on your device, and it will read it out loud, which is something cool. So yeah, you can program the uh, thing to do whatever you want in there, and you can create your own stuff. For example, this script in here is one for the tweetbot and it will pretty much create a tweet so it's definitely something interesting you can see exactly how the syntax goes and if you want to import this kind of script in here for example i want to import this one from the examples i can do so or i can create my own in here for example i'm going to say yada 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 in here yada 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 in here too and i'm going to select some color and create and i will be uh, given this page in here where i can pretty much start building my code and again, no ads, and this is something very good. If you're pressing here on the book, you get some information about the functions that you can use, because of course, you need a documentation, it's not standard C. But if you take a look in here, all the functions are very well explained, and they give you a good example on how to use them. And of course, the documentation is available. So if you want to script something real quick to do, for example, I don't know, to pull something from a server each and every hour, or to delete something from a server each and every hour, you can pretty much uh, script a connection to that server and you can pretty much remove whatever you want to remove from that server every hour with that script so it's a very powerful scripting language you do have quite a lot of information in here about the cub programming language which is pretty much the programming language used in this uh, tool you know for scripting and you do have in here a lot of information on how to use it so yeah it's something that i really really like and i really like the fact that you do not have to you know mess with advertisement and so on so it's a very good program it does connect to ssh you can pretty much do a lot of customization in here and the best of all this program is open source well for better or for worse because a lot of people simply took the project from github rebranded it and put it in the app store for like what ten dollars which of course is bad because the program is completely free and the author made it open source so yeah do not do that but anyways as i said you can run whatever commands you want to run i can even run uname a if i really want to so most unix commands do work in this terminal it's a real terminal 
It's just that it doesn't have root access because of course it's from the App Store and it's sandboxed, but other than that, it's very, very useful. So yeah, this is pretty much it guys. If you want a very powerful terminal that actually works with a scripting language built in, you can get this one from the App Store, it's completely free. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not paid to promote this tool in here. I actually stumbled across it while searching for a terminal a few months ago, and it's my favorite iOS terminal ever since. So yeah, thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.